All right, so today we are going to be doing something that it's kind of a trend. It's starting to pick up more steam in the web design realm, and that is an inverted board. But we are not going to be using any code this time, no code whatsoever. But we are going to harness the power of masking with SVG images in Elementor. So we are going to be making the images in Figma. I'm going to show you how to make this in Figma the way that you want them to look. And then we are going to be adding them to an image in Elementor. And we're going to use the masking option to achieve the inverted border effect. So it's going to look good. It's going to be working on all devices with no problem. We are on trend. So let's get into it. All right. And as you can see here, we have a beautiful hero section kind of in my opinion it's pretty sleek i would say you have a hero section you have a heading you have your little blurb text underneath and a call to action you could also add another call to action if you really want and then you have the image on the hero section so it breaks the monotony of the you know the text on the side and you have an image on the other side and it's just like hmm been there done that seen this a million times let's mix it up a little bit so let's go down a little bit and as you can see we continue in the same way obviously everything in this container can be rearranged but as you can see we are keeping the image the way the images are handled consistent consistent in the way of shape so it kind of like elevates a little bit the design, makes it more interesting, trendy as well, but also I would say quite responsive because let's see what happens in this case. Of course, the text is not optimized for this, but I wanted to show you how the image is handled. And as you can see, the image has kept its shape and it's looking pretty good so let's see a little bit our yes our hero section needs a little bit of work because the text is doing what it's doing that needs to be fixed and that's why our image looks a little bit squished but the image would be uh, somewhere around here and would be this size all right so let's see how we can make this all right so in order to save a little bit of time i am going to just go over a little bit of what we have on this page so we have a container that is holding our heading and the heading is um, i have given some space left and top uh, margin basically to the um, heading and i have a container that contains another heading that i have converted to an html tag and a button all of this have give, been given some margin in order to uh, to match our image that we are going to be adding right now so in this container i'm going to be adding an image so let me go to the container and let's see if this just clicking on the widget to container <laughs> works so let's see where is my image where is my image oh my god here it is all right oh it works actually it worked really well okay so first of all let's adjust our image let's style it let's give it a width of a hundred percent so it's going to take a hundred percent of the container that is is that is sitting in so i'm going to give it a max width as well of a hundred percent no actually i think i'm gonna go with 90 and that means that we are going to have, as you can see, but this depends. As you can see, our image does not go from side to side without any space. So I am also going to give it a height. Um, and I think I'm going to go with 50%. And that means that our image on the hero section will be visible more or less half of it so also give it an object fit of cover because as you can see if you don't the image is going to be a little bit squished it's going to be deformed in other words and it's not a good look so i'm going to set it to cover and i am going to go to content 
and choose a image an image so i'm gonna go with this to keep the theme of our beautiful um whatever we're doing here um furnishing real estate website <laughs> but it doesn't really match because the heading is completely different anyway so basically this is how it looks so far so we have this um two um headings basically kind of matching they're looking okay all right so now we have this image okay let's go to advanced and let's go all the way to masking so you like you would want to turn this on and naturally the default image shape mask is a circle but we don't want that we are going to go with custom so i have a few custom shapes done here i think this is the one that we want to work with and as you can see our image is transformed we have a completely different feel and vibe to it all right okay one thing that i want to do because as you can see the image is quite uh, small i mean the the mask is quite small or looks small let's grab this to a hundred percent and let's see what happens nothing is happening why is this not happening oh god all right let's go a little bit to the mask and i think i have a bigger mask all right so as you can see our image is still not quite there yet we wanted to bring a, to bring it a little bit basically all the way here more or less and obviously here as well so it looks that is bit balanced so what we need to do is give it a little bit more height and maybe 70 would be okay no i think 65 would yeah 65 is the right size okay but we notice that there is an issue here and we have way too much space in between our text and the image and it doesn't really look that well so what we need to do is basically go back to our to our style and i'm going to go to go give this image a uh, less width i think i'm gonna go to about 85 and a max width of a hundred and let's go as well to advanced give it a minus a hundred margin top and it is looking quite okay right so let's go to our mask and let's play around with this we can give this actually it's set let's see how it looks no this is not looking very good let's leave it at fit and i think this is quite okay but this depends on what you are using for your masking in terms of svg the shape of your image that you're masking with or the svg that you're masking with so yeah pretty much that's it so look at this we have an image here let's go to the image so we have this set this again as i said depends on the shape you are using uh here i set the height to pixels because i wanted to maintain the size of the image on or the size yeah the size of the image on different devices to be um kind of the same all right so let's go to advanced let's go to our mask and here we are so let's see if we use a different kind of mask this one for example this one as you can see it's a bit smaller and yeah, i would say it's okay but you would have to play with your image now that is, uh, with your image as you can see you can change the position of your mask in the container by playing with these elements um but yeah I mean, let's see, it was top left, I think, or top center. 
Mm -hmm. All right, let's leave it at center center and let's adjust. Yeah, that's the thing. If we adjust um, the size of the scale of our image, it's not looking really well, really good. So what we can do is basically just leave it at fit and then play around with the as you can see it's pretty flexible so yeah all right let's say that this is done okay i'm going to change to the previous one because i liked it more so let's jump into figma and see how these are made all right i have a few images here that i was playing with this was one of my inspirations uh, i will link this website down in the description below so you can have a look of course they are i think they are actually using some code on this one the other ones the other images on the website seem to be masked but i'm not sure anyway um let's go and make some of these beautiful shapes all right so let's take a rect rectangle we're gonna keep the color as is and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna duplicate this angle and for example let's put it like this okay now we have two elements on top of each other let's select them together and i will simply uh, command g that means they are grouped now they're together you can do this from here as well and click right click and group selection okay now they're grouped but if i ungroup them let's go back and where is it group selection and now they're grouped okay so this is as simple as that but for example if you want to round the corners they will run the corners here here and basically here and here so let's see how that works and yeah and there and there but we need these corners to be rounded so how would you do that initially i was thinking to basically draw with the pencil basically something like this but it's not very convenient and then i was testing and i was playing around so we have these options here on the on the top bar so you go to union selection and now the selection is unified so as you can see the corners are still rounded but we have the option to round the corners further so let's do that and kaboom so the, the steps in between the rounding of the all the corners and grouping the elements is basically union unionizing unionizing unioning <laughs> the uh, elements on the page so that's how you do it so if you for example move this container on the page you can adjust the shape of your shape you can make it a completely different shape and you can add additional shapes and add more shapes and you can make it as complex as you want as interesting as you want and there you go you have an interesting shape that you can use anywhere let's do something like that um yeah okay let's let's export it and let's try this on the website so what you will do is basically you go here to exports and make sure that you turn you trans you convert this to svg and it's exported as an svg and now it has been exported let's go to our website and let's go to this image all the way to mask and let's change the mask where is it drag it in and here we are okay we now have to uh, do some things for example let's go to layout and bring this down a notch basically remove the margin top and there you are i mean how cool and let's also make it a bit bigger 
Uh, probably we need to go all the way to a hundred. Hmm. Uh, let's see. We need more height. Hmm. This will be too much. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, you can play around with it, obviously, and see what works for you, but yeah, this is something that it's not that difficult to make and it adds a little bit of interest to any hero section or website. I will leave a Figma file down below where you can find all these SVG shapes and you can play around and do whatever you want with them. And if you'd like to see what else you can make with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time.